Welcome back. This is video number seven, and we're going to talk about how to use easy to use audio players as a means for note taking efficiency. You see, if you need to take notes from a recording, here are the best and most easy to use free audio players available online. VLC is one of them. And if you go to Google and you type in VLC, you'll be able to get more information. But basically, VLC. Uh, this can actually play multiple types of audio formats such as mp3, mp4, avi, wmv, flv, and many many more. And this is particularly great because of its wide ranging features. It has a media library that is really easy to navigate, rearrange, and customize. And click and drag works for rearranging the files. You can also customize the media information such as the title, thumbnail, picture, album name, genre, and many more. Next we have QT which is basically quick time and if you want to use and have a simple media player and you do not need extensive features then quick time is a good choice as well. If you constantly need to rewind, play back, using shortcut keys, quick time really allows you to rewind fast forward shortcuts using the left and right arrows. So if you are trying to review a webinar replay, for example, or a video replay of some sort, then this would be something that is good for that reason. Now, obviously, if you're doing something live, like a live webinar or a live conference, then this would not really relate. Now, it also has audio and video recording capability. So if you want to do something kind of like dictation notes, then you can do something like this. Now, if you are in a lecture, that's fine. You can use those recording devices that you can get to record the actual lecture. And if you get one that's newer nowadays, you can actually get one that will uh, record it and save it as an MP3 file. And then you can listen to it again and again and again. So if you're, let's say for example, you're, you're at a lecture, if they don't mind you recording them and you get prior permission, then by all means try to do that because that's something that will be easy for you to listen over and over again. Now for a more advanced user, you can also do a screen capture of your computer screen. So you can choose to only record a section of your screen or the entire screen. You can add sounds or voice over during the screen capture video as well. Although there's no option to add a voice over and edit the clip afterwards. Now, if you want to use something fancy like Camtasia or something like that to do that, uh, you can do that as well. But this would primarily be of means if you wanted to record notes or your thoughts and things like that. Another unique feature of QuickTime is the option to share media via the share icon. And you can share it via email or social networking sites such as YouTube and Facebook. 